welcome uh, welcome to today's session in our uh, today's session we are going to discuss uh, first topology that is uh, series and feedback amplifiers in our uh, last session we discussed uh, the four basic topologies uh, all the topologies we are going to discuss in detail now we discuss the first one uh, that is the series and feedback amplifier or series and feedback topology which is also called as an voltage amplifier okay so now if you are able to see this we are going to study only the ideal case of uh, series and feedback amplifier you will uh, able to see an uh, circuit diagram which is nothing but the outcome of that uh, topology what we have drawn in the last session now just see it is having uh, two circuits circuit a and uh, circuit b right so now uh, circuit a circuit a is nothing but your uh, open loop voltage amplifier your circuit b is nothing but the feedback uh, amplifier okay so circuit a it has it consists of uh, an open loop gain a it consists of input resistance r i it consists of output resistance uh, r not now the feedback uh, amplifier that is circuit b consists of the feedback gain beta feedback gain beta the output voltage since it is uh, series shunt input is also voltage output is also voltage output is sampled which is nothing but v not existing at this terminal so now this is the uh, this is a wrote and brief structure of uh, ideal case now we are going to analyze this what we are going to analyze here is we are going to analyze the three important parameters of the components one is what is feedback gain from this negative feedback structure what is the uh, closed loop gain or the feedback gain of this particular amplifier next one is input resistance with feedback so this is input resistance without feedback input resistance with feedback what is going to happen same way output resistance with feedback what is going to be obtained right as i have told this is an example of an alignmatic amplifier you know that input impedance is very high output impedance is very low and we have already gone through the closed loop amplifier when we studied the general structure of the feedback where we have got a by 1 plus a beta now the same expressions we are going to obtain let us see what all expressions we are going to get let us begin with the first one that is closed loop gain that is af now af from the first circuit af uh, it is nothing but output by input output is v not divided by input is vs v not by vs so is equal to now you just observe the output v not if you are going to write open loop gain definition it is nothing but v not by vi so what is v not a to vi so v not is nothing but a into vi so divided by vs now you just see now you just see here if i am going to tell vi is nothing but vs minus vf vs is nothing but vi plus vf which we have done in the general feedback structure I have written V I plus V F. Now A V I divided by V I plus V F. What is V F? Feedback signal obtained from this particular dependent source that is beta into V naught. Beta into V naught. Beta into V naught. Now just observe V naught is is nothing but A into V I. In the next step, beta into V I into V I I have introduced instead of V naught. I have written it as A into V I. So is equal to V I is common denominator. I have taken out. I cancelled it. Now just observe what is the expression of closed loop gain I have obtained. A F is equal to A divided by one plus A into beta, where A is called as closed loop, sorry open loop gain. One plus A beta is called as amount of the gain. So with this we have already discussed. Now just observe this expression to show us that the ideal case what we are considering is because of negative feedback. So negative feedback, right? We will come to the second one. You just see the second diagram. The first circuit is your ideal case. The second diagram is equivalent of this with feedback. Equivalent of this circuit diagram with feedback. Okay. So what is that equivalent? It shows the input resistance with feedback, the output resistance with feedback, along with the closed loop gain. The expression in the diagram. Okay. So you just observe input resistance with feedback is defined as voltage by current. Who is voltage? V S divided by V I I. You can observe V S divided by I A, but what is I A from the circuit diagram? We can observe I A is nothing but the current flowing across this resistor. Nothing but V I divided by R I. V I divided by R I. I means V by R, so V I by R I. So the R I will come to numerator. V S divided by V I. Okay, this is the case. I just observe R I into now V S. Just now I have shown you what is V S is V I plus V F. V I plus V F divided by V I. Right. So uh, VF we have got something. VF we have got something. Not nothing but beta into V naught. 
again v naught is nothing but a beta into v i so a beta into v i so same thing i have replaced v f is nothing but a beta into v i divided by v i so again v i is common v i is taken out so once i have taken out v i v i will be cancel so what is remaining here r i into 1 plus a beta so just observe i will make a change we are cancelled, so R I into 1 plus A beta. Now I hope you remember this expression of input resistance with feedback for non-inverting amplifier. This expression shows that input impedance is very high. Input impedance, input resistance has been increased by a quantity called as 1 plus A into beta. 1 plus A beta. It has increased more times by 1 plus A beta. Okay. So now come to the third circuit. I hope you understood input, re input resistance with feedback. Now output resistance with feedback needs to be analyzed at the output side of the circuit at the output side of the circuit so when you are seeing the output side we are making input side to become zero so this type of concept if we are finding the equivalent resistance we are going to make use of which theorem the theorem is Thevenin's theorem now you just observe when applying Thevenin's theorem there is a dependent source existing in this so directly I cannot apply the Thevenin's theorem so I am making use of an test signal called as Vt which is connected to the diagram which is connected to the diagram now just observe connected through the resistance the feedback path so vs is zero that means it is grounded and i am taking only output part applying thevenin's equivalent circuit it is having a dependent source a into vi r not connected to a testing voltage vt right so such that the current flowing through this is i now i am defining uh, the output resistance with feedback as V by I. So I am looking from this side for output resistance with feedback. So it is Vt by I. Vt divided by I. Where I is nothing but the current flowing in this particular mesh. So what I can write is from here this side it is passing therefore V by R. V is Vt minus A into Vi divided by R naught. Vt minus A into Vi divided by R naught. Okay. As Vs is 0. As Vs is 0 for this Thevenin's application. So we know that Vs is nothing but Vi plus Vf which we have already got this. Now in this Vs is 0 means Vi becomes minus Vf. So again we know what is Vf. Vf is nothing but beta, beta into V0. So again V0 is nothing but now just observe the output terminal is connected at this point. Who is output? Vt is nothing but V0. You can observe I have connected V0 is nothing but Vt. Right? So now once we have got this expression, this expression is nothing but Vi. So I am substituting that Vi in this particular in this in this particular thing where it is ROF. Now you can observe ROF is equal to Vt by I. So what is I? Vt minus A into Vi. What is Vi? Vi is at the minus beta into T. So minus of minus will come plus A beta into Vt divided by R naught. Right? So now instead of I writing separately, I have mixed here. So R0 will go to the numerator, uh, Vt is common, the Vt Vt get cancels. So what is remaining is R0 by 1 plus A into beta. Okay. So this is just a simplification. What we are going to take common things and going to cancel it. Now this expression clearly tells that, clearly tells that we are having low output impedance. Now low by how much time? 1 plus A into beta times. Okay. So this is input impedance with input resistance with the feedback. Output resistance with feedback. Generally, generally these two expressions in frequency domain can be written as can be written as frequency domain means in Laplace transform with respect to S. I have written like this. So therefore, the output resistance with feedback is also written as like this. Right. So overall, if you want to summarize, we have analyzed the three things. One is AF, which we have got A by 1 plus A beta from this ideal case, shows the negative feedback structure. RIF, we have got RI into 1 plus A beta, we have shown that input resistance is very high. R0 is equal to R0 by 1 plus A beta, we have shown that output resistance is with feedback is very small. Right. So I hope you have understood uh, this particular series and feedback amplifier voltage amplifier or voltage amplifier. In the next session we will look after the next topology. Thank you.